So this is my review of a giant TPX SLR1. I've owned this bike for about six months now. Um, been riding it on and off through the summer and then through the winter as well, putting it through its paces, trying to see its strengths and weaknesses. Um, I'm more of a mountain bike background, so probably done more than what a typical cyclocross bike would be asked of, but it, it has handled it all well. As you can see here, riding through the sand on the beach and, uh, and taking over a few jumps. The specification of a bike, it's actually got an aluminium frame with carbon forks. But I don't know if you see as you go through here, but it's very nicely welded aluminium frame. Um, paint job is really good, it looks really high quality, so you get quite a few good comments when you're, when you're out and about with your mates. The bike's race, based around a Shimano 105 group set, but it actually has an upgraded rear mech, which is old Tegra, which is a nice to see on a bright bike around this price point. As for the wheels, there's Shimano's own brand P. X2s, which is a fine wheel, it's pretty heavy disc wheel, so if you're racing it you probably want to upgrade to something else um, a bit lighter, but it's, it's it's fine for just mucking around on, having a bit of fun, tough wheel set, should last a while. There are tubeless wheel set, but I trouble with the uh, original Schwalbe Schwalbeswan tyres, as they're steel bead, so on the rear are upgraded to specialised tracer tyres, can be seen here. This uh, steel up tubeless quite well. I definitely recommend cheapest tyres for side across setup. With your skinny little tyres, you're going to get a lot more pinch flats, hitting on rocks and thorns going through them. So, tubeless really helps minimise that and cut it right down. You never eliminate punches, but you've got to do the best you can. Under the seat, now I know seats are a little personal thing among cyclists. We all have our favourites, and uh, everyone's a bit different in that kind of area. But uh, I can get on with the original giant seats. It swaps over to one of my favourite. Uh, Salia Italia SL XC saddle, just lightweight, comfy. Now this is one of the uh, gripes I had with the bike. I know I've, been a, I've never been a, fan, a massive fan of cable disc brakes, but on this price point and nowadays, that's, that's kind of what you get around the thousand pound mark. Hopefully in a few years time we'll, move, we'll be able to get hydraulics for this price range, but it just seems stupid having a, a cable operated disc on a site because bike can be exposed to mud and all sorts. And just look at the way this cable, the position of it. The water and mud are just going to go into that cable, fill it up, and make your, your braking performance awful. We have to change cables all the time. So I wasn't really that impressed with that. Especially from a big brand like Giant. You know, they, they should have done their research and should at least have a, a rubber on there to minimise the water and grit and grime going in. And now the most important bit of information for uh, you weight weenies out there. Uh, just use weighed it using my digital scales and for a bike around a thousand pound mark a slightly cross bike you're probably not buying it for its light weightness but you might enter it in a few races and etc and uh, this model uh, weighed in this is with uh, the Shimano XDR pedals on obviously out of the shop it doesn't come with pedals it weighed in at 9.82 kilograms so not a bad weight for uh, for that price so time to round up now would I recommend this bike as your first slightly cross bike or as an upgrade to one you got I definitely would. It was my first cycling cross bike, and I really enjoyed being out riding it, having it, having a bit of a blast. Something a bit different to ride. It's, it's not too expensive, and um, it looks really good. I think that's probably one of the, the main points about it. Is when you're out, people make comments. You know, it looks like a fifteen hundred, two thousand pound bike, but it's a, re a real bargain in, in Giant's range.